It's Peak Week, finally! Hello and welcome to another prep vlog. This episode is going to be a little bit different from normal because it's gonna span a couple days so that I can give you a more in-depth look about what Peak Week looks like day to day. I will do a full day of eating when I start my carb load. Yes, I did get my extensions last week, which is why my hair is ridiculously long and it doesn't look that great because I'm trying not to wash it because washing extensions is a pain in the butt, especially when you've got red up here, blonde down here, it's a mess. I'm just not gonna wash my hair until uh, the day before the competition. So this video is going to start at Monday when I was five days out and eating super, super, super low carbs, which you will see the effect of the low carbs in the video. I start every single morning this week with check-ins with my coach involving both like the stereotypical check-in pictures and posing in heels before coffee. It's not the most enjoyable thing ever. So the peak week plan, at least for me, I keep sodium the same all week long. So I do have to track sodium because you know, if you eat a salty meal one night, you'll wake up a little bit bloated the next day. We are trying to avoid that. So we're really dialing in on everything nutrition this week to avoid looking bad the day of a show because I don't get judged on performance. I get judged on looking good. So everything nutritionally this week is all about making me look the best possible on Saturday, the day of the show. Right now I'm drinking two gallons of water a day. It's a lot. I have to pee all the time, not changing water at all during the week. And during peak week, you do something called carb loading. I do my carb loading at the end of the week. Carbs are stored in the muscles as glycogen and glycogen holds water which is why you can't just chug a bunch of water and inflate your muscles. Because if you don't have the glycogen in there, you can't put water into the muscles. So with carb loading, it's a careful balance of eating enough carbs to fill up your muscles without causing spillover. Now spillover would be when you eat too many carbs and then water is stored outside the muscles, making you look watery or lose definition. So we don't want like these sharp lines of my shoulders to fade out at all. We want them to look as sharp as possible. So I haven't started carb loading yet, so I probably still look pretty flat, but I'm hoping that you guys will see throughout the course of the video when my muscles start to carb up and appear bigger. And I do have to cut out all artificial sweeteners and anything that could potentially cause bloating. So no artificial sweeteners, no cauliflower, no broccoli, no protein powders, no dairy, and these things do not cause me to bloat normally. When it's a competition that I've been prepping months for, I am not going to leave anything to chance. If my coach tells me that I it would be better to cut it out on the 1% chance it might make me bloated, I can survive a week without artificial sweeteners and dairy, et cetera, et cetera. It's been a little torturous, but I can do it. water in the coffee machine yesterday but not new coffee beans so I gotta rebrew this <laughs> this is what they call prep brain or your brain on super low carbs okay that's coffee I'm just gonna go absorb this caffeine before talking to y'all Today is Monday, July 27th, and I've been eating 
super low carbs for the last few days but right now i'm actually sitting in the parking lot of an office building and i'm gonna go in and get my dexa scan done so i can see what body fat percentage i'm at how much muscle i've retained all of that and then i'll come back on here and tell you what i got everything i don't know i can't think your brain needs carbs to function and my brain has none right now clearly So the results of the scan were initially actually really disappointing, I gotta admit. Text my coach, everything, I was like freaking out and he reassured me and everything. But I was disappointed because one, um, my body fat percentage is actually a little bit higher than it was last year. So last year, right before my show, the DEXA scan had me at 11.6% body fat. And today I was measured at 12.1% body fat. So. You know, it's not really a big deal. Half a percent is half a percent, but still, I was, you know, just slightly irritated that it wasn't lower. And what really like crushed me is that um, in February, when I did a DEXA scan, in February, I was at 18.5% body fat and I had 105.5 pounds of lean tissue. So, lean tissue, it involves water muscle mass, etc. muscle mass, right? And today I measured at 98.5 pounds of lean tissue, which is, let me do the math, seven pounds less. So in my mind, I was like, holy shit, did I lose seven pounds of muscle during prep? Because actually the lean tissue that I had today, according to the scan, is less lean tissue than I had before my show last year. So I was like panicking, thinking like, oh my gosh, did I lose all the muscle gains that I made last year? And I was just like, ah. But I texted my coach and he reminded me that lean tissue also includes water. And since I've been eating very, very low carbs, uh, carbs are stored in your muscles as glycogen and glycogen holds water. So my body literally has less water in it right now than it did in February when I had been bulking. And it also has less water in it than it did a year ago at my show because when I did my scan for my show last year, I hadn't done my low carb depletion days yet before I started carb loading. So I would have had a lot more water and thus lean tissue in my system last year when I did the scan. Feeling a lot calmer about it now. Maybe next time I get a scan, it shouldn't be after some depletion days because that's gonna make me freak out and make me feel like I lost muscle. But yeah, key takeaway is 12.1% body fat and gotta stop freaking out about the rest. Game plan for the rest of today. I'm going to go make breakfast. I'll show you what I'm having. I'm not gonna do a full day of eating today though. And then today is actually my little sister's 21st birthday. I don't know what it's like for you guys right now, but the coronavirus is still really, really bad in Texas. So all the bars are closed. And so she can't really celebrate the way that she wants to. So I'm gonna take my little sister to actually go get a pedicure with me because I got my nails done yesterday and they still have free drinks at the uh, nail salon. So I can't drink, but she can get a free mimosa. Maybe take her to get like a drive-through daiquiri or something. Okay, so this is breakfast. I did egg whites with some spinach and then I measured out the seasoning and everything. Can't have cauliflower right now because cauliflower could potentially cause bloating. And then this nut butter, I can't have protein powder this week either. So I had to change my normal nut butter. So I've been using this grocery store brand, this white chocolate, because it doesn't have any protein powder or anything that could potentially cause bloating. I am very sad that I can't have my cauliflower oats right now, but this is good. And also cooking pro tip, I, okay, you can't really see it in there, maybe a little bit there, but I just added some fresh rosemary to it, which elevates any type of savory dish, like fresh herbs and stuff. <laughs> I am 
having, if you can kind of see it here, basically a filet and a half of tilapia. I am choosing to eat tilapia and it's delicious when you make it in the air fryer. I have a recipe on my blog for air fryer tilapia. And then I did five ounces of mushrooms and some asparagus because I'm trying to get a variety of micronutrients right now, especially because my carbs are super low. They have been super low for the last two days. Today's still low. So it's very important that the carbs that I do eat are full of micronutrients and everything. And I am keeping sodium steady all week long. So I do have to track sodium very closely. There's sodium in foods normally, um, but to hit the rest of my sodium intake for the day, I just measured out some seasoning that had salt in it. And I've been like using it on everything today. So I put some of this in my eggs earlier. I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of this on my asparagus and mushrooms. As far as other seasonings went, I used this Mrs. Dash lemon pepper on the asparagus, which it's sodium free. So if you're trying to be precise with your sodium levels, having extra seasoning that's sodium free is awesome. And then I put the onion one on top of the tilapia and I'll probably put some on top of the mushrooms too. Yum. Time to eat. I wonder if this is any good. Sounds good. Pretty good. So today I actually have a digital conference that I am attending for my actual job. I'm a full-time French teacher. And so I'm learning today about how to do all sorts of online learning. Uh, which, you know, is a struggle right now with the coronavirus and all. But I've got a workout later today. Today is also a higher carb day than yesterday. We're not quite at the carb loading phase yet, but uh, for context, yesterday I was at 80 grams of carbs, which was pathetically low. Please don't copy that. And so today I'm at 125 carb. It's still low carb. That's still very low carb, but it doesn't feel as low since yesterday was pathetically low. So I'll show you guys a recipe or two today too and a little bit of my leg workout, but otherwise I gotta learn some stuff for my real job here. So I made a crunch wrap for my pre-workout snack. Since I've been stuck here at the conference all day, I wanted to eat something before going to the gym. All I put in it, it's kind of like the fig and feta crunch wrap. I put fig butter in it and then turkey breast. And then I put some Dijon mustard in there and spinach because I can't have dairy or cheese and onions are probably a bad idea too, but I'm still excited. I can still have crunch wraps. Just got to the gym. You know what I forgot at home? My headphones. I have a leg workout today, starting with some hip thrusts on a machine. I really feel it in my glutes on the machine. High rep. Then I've got some squats, which I am going to go very light on because the last year when I had squats during peak week, I made the mistake of immediately going to my old warm-up weight. And my old warm-up weight is 135 pounds. And I swear to God, I almost fell <laughs> at my old warm-up weight. Cause I gotta remember I'm coming off of super, super low carbs, depletion and all. So my strength is likely going to be shit for lack of a better word. Yeah, I'll show y'all a couple things and uh, try to get this done quickly since I don't have headphones. Just got done. I actually um, didn't film that much because I took my tripod out of my bag after I filmed that segment of me carrying my bag out. You know, prep brain. I was looking for my phone charger and all. But yeah, it was a pretty fast workout and my cardio for the day is only 9.2 thousand steps. So I don't even need to walk on the treadmill. I can probably just walk around my kitchen for like 20 minutes when I get back. So yep, gonna go back and make dinner. It's just gonna be tilapia again, so I'm not gonna show it. I will show y'all dessert though. So for dessert tonight, I'm actually making cream of rice, but with egg whites to give it some more protein. So I tried this the other night and it came out really good in cake lights. So I wanted to share this with y'all. You add three quarters of a cup of water, just like the package calls for. Okay, don't 
don't burn yourself getting this out of the microwave, but then you're gonna stir it. Stir, 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 stir. Don't let it thicken up too much. Stir, 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 stir. This is the part where you're gonna have to trust me. You can add egg whites to give it protein. I'm doing 110 grams of egg whites because that will equal out to 20 grams of protein since I can't add protein powder this week, but it's gonna be okay. The egg whites aren't gonna scramble, I promise. And then you're going to stir it all very carefully because this is a big bowl to combine. And then we'll pop this back in the microwave. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the um, microwave, but you gotta stir it. You gotta, yeah, you gotta stir it up and then it'll be good. This is just like doing egg white oats in the microwave. If you do like egg white oats in the microwave, it comes out really cakey like this, but I prefer them to be a little bit creamier, which is why I do my cauliflower oats on the stove top. But for this, cakey is a good idea. So it's all stirred together now. And there aren't any egg white clumps in there. You're good. See, it's like the same consistency. And then I'm gonna add 28 grams of peanut butter on top. I'm gonna let it melt a little bit first because it's super hot right now. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and the peanut butter, oh yes. Oh, it's melted. This is glorious. Oh, oh you see how thick this is? Oh, wow. Creamer rice with egg whites. Don't skip on the stevia, or you should use artificial sweetener instead, or you could cut down on the egg whites and add some protein powder in there too. But this is like a cake. It's so thick. I'm gonna eat this and then head to bed because sleep is very important during peak week. Well, I guess I'm gonna shower first because, you know, that's important too. And finish my water and probably watch some Netflix, but food first and then <laughs> lots of sleep. Good morning, it is now Wednesday. I'm three days out from my show and the carb loading does start today. So I've got 180 grams of carbs today, hopefully more tomorrow, but tomorrow I'll be traveling. And so in anticipation of that, I prepped a ton of shredded chicken in the Instant Pot today. I just did water and vinegar in there so there's no seasoning or salt on it so I can add spices as I want later. And uh, there's been a bit of an emergency this morning. Our sink has started flooding randomly. The apartment is apparently sending someone over ASAP. And this is my roommate, Emma. <laughs> this is a breakfast on a carb loading day. Woo. So I made a French toast with egg white. So there's protein in the French toast. And then I topped it with blueberries. And then this flavored PBCO peanut butter powder. It's a blueberry flavored peanut butter powder. So it's amazing since I can't use my, um, you know, fake artificial sweetener syrup. And then I made some egg white oatmeal with only about 80 grams of egg white since I can't put artificial sweetener in it. Did put some stevia in there and extra cinnamon. And then I topped it with that white chocolate peanut butter again. So yeah, about 30 grams of protein in here and 67 grams of carbs and then like 500 calories. So all of these carbs are gonna <laughs> help me with my workout today. So after I eat this, I'll let it digest for a little bit and head to the gym. My tummy feels very full and happy right now. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I stopped at the gas station on the way to get gas, and of course on the way to the gas station, I spilled water all over my single paper mask that I had with me, which I need for the gym. But at least I was already at going to the gas station, so I was able to buy one for $3 for a single mask. But it's okay, because my luck is looking up now, because I got a parking spot close to the gym, and it's pouring. So that is a very good thing. Gonna go do this upper body workout. Never mind, guess what I forgot again? My headphones. <sighs> It 
So I just finished making dinner. I made this salmon bowl. Got 100 grams of russet potatoes that I air fried. Then I've got some spinach and the rest of my mushrooms, egg whites for extra protein, and then smoked salmon that I had in the fridge because I needed some extra fat and yummy omega-3s. And wow, I feel like this is a bowl of health and I'm really excited to eat it. Weighed out my seasonings and everything. Lots of protein, carbs, veggies, micronutrients. Yum. I don't, I'm not sure if I talked about my tea hack, but okay, so I did go to Starbucks the other day, but I've been reusing my Starbucks container and I've just been brewing my own Tazo passion tea. Since I have to get two gallons of water in a day, tea counts, so this really helps me get all my water intake in. I can lie, I'm starting to get a little nervous since I'm leaving tomorrow morning. So I prepped, um, I made one cup of white rice. It was at one cup of dry white rice, which you know, then becomes this giant bowl. So at least I'll have rice. I don't normally gravitate towards rice, but at least I'll have some carbs cooked. And then I cooked the other half of the potato that I made for dinner. And I actually think the best decision for me will just be to bring my air fryer and I'll bring the raw potatoes. So that way, if I need a potato, I could just cook it there in the hotel room in the air fryer and yeah, oh my gosh, I got butterflies in my stomach right now. I'm gonna go pack some more and then edit this video because I'm hoping to post it tomorrow, actually, if I can get my act together. <sighs> okay, so I made dinner. Well, I guess dinner part two. I just made a crunch wrap and I did the shredded chicken that I prepped earlier, spinach, and then Trader Joe's green goddess salad dressing because I needed some more fats. And then I did some sweet potatoes with cinnamon and I cooked them in the air fryer. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go take this in my room and keep packing and editing. Everything's a mess. All of this is going to be for show day. Oh, all this. I'm not sure I mentioned that, but yeah, I have shown y'all every meal today and I've got one more meal left later, but I wanted to talk about the expectations that I have for this show. So obviously I've been prepping since February. That's about, that's like over six months now. I got third place at my last show. So obviously my expectation is that I get higher than third place. But that said, I know that I'm coming in later than last year, no matter what my DEXA scan said. I know that I've made improvements, particularly in my shoulders and built up shoulder muscle. I do really feel like I built up my back a lot too. So those are all wins. Whatever the results are, I know that I'm proud with what I've done. I've been practicing my butt off. I practiced all throughout quarantine. I, I didn't slip up in quarantine. I really didn't. I'm really, really proud of what I've done, especially this year with the coronavirus. Need to get into the mindset of I've done everything. I've practiced my butt off. I've done all the work and now I just need to relax and let it happen. I'm gonna drink this coffee, edit some more and then show you guys dessert. I was so happy with that cream of rice recipe that I made it again and I'll probably be making it again tomorrow night too. I heard from my coach today that tomorrow is probably going to be an even higher carb day. So I'm sorry, but I am not going to film that because tomorrow morning I leave for Arlington. I'm in Houston, so it's about a four hour drive and the thought of trying to film a YouTube while traveling uh, really stresses me out. So I might actually do a full day of eating post about it on Instagram with all the carbs, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a double pack of oatmeal for breakfast quite on brand. So the next YouTube that I post will be my show day YouTube. So you really don't want to miss the next update. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and even like the bell button to make sure that you get notified when I get a new video. And if you want all the updates first, then follow me on Instagram. I will be posting stories all day long 
of behind the scenes of everything going on in my competition. Again, it's August 1st if you're watching this a day or two later. And please like the video. I know it helps with YouTube. And yeah, we're so close. Let's go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep, but I need to sleep because I'm leaving in the morning. I hope I don't forget anything. I'm gonna bring so much food. Oh my gosh, okay. See, my mind's going crazy. Time to eat dessert and go to bed. I'm gonna keep eating cream of rice even after my competition. This stuff is the shit.